Okay, today uh, I'm just going to go through a couple little uh, minor procedures um, regarding um, getting birds prepared for sales, uh, just to make things a little bit easier. Um, in in the crate, I, I pre-caught two mandarins at, at random. I'm not going to go through vent sexing or anything like that today because I've already done videos on that. Um, but first thing I'm going to talk about here is um, most of the time we these birds are a little bit ratty on the breast here, but um, as we uh, ident mark birds for uh, sale, well, we typically sex them before we uh, we will vent sex them. But for those who don't want to vent sex, if you look at these mandarins, uh, this this one has got grayer feet and this one's got brighter yellow feet. And if you look at the difference in the beaks, there's uh, one red beak and one darker colored beak. Um, this one here with the yellower feet and the redder beak is a drake, and this one here is a hen with the darker uh, feet and darker beak. Um, now, we don't pinion birds here, um, but just really quickly, um, we do, uh, when we ship birds out, we often just pull the wing feathers uh, and we'll do that one by one. And these birds are not going to be shipped, it's just for demonstration purposes. Um, we just pull out the first seven or eight primaries. Uh, so you have that just on one side. Uh, and that way when somebody gets these birds in, if they have a, it'll allow them to, to tame down in a um, covered aviary. Uh, within three weeks or so, they'll be able to fly again. So it's a temporary restriction. Uh, for those of you that, that wish to um, restrained flight for season and again I, I don't pin we don't generally pinion here very very rarely um, we don't have a need to but what you're going to do to, to cut the wings is you'll see these feathers there's like a these up here um, called secondaries and these are the primaries here you're going to you're not going to cut these secondaries up here but you're going to cut the primaries like the first seven or so and you're going to cut them down like that and seven, seven, eight, nine uh, primary feathers. And what that'll do is that'll set the bird off balance. Uh, so when he tries to fly, he won't be able to fly properly, he or she. Um, just as a, a quick note, um, with migratory birds, you do need to uh, identify the birds through either pinioning, which you do at two weeks old, uh, seamless band, which you gotta slide the bands on, which over in Europe is a, requirement as well for um, all, all of the uh, exotic waterfowl uh, many of the bird species as well I believe um, in North so again in North America you can either pinion um, you can seamless band I believe there's some tattooing that's allowed and then the other thing is when they're ducklings uh, two weeks or younger um, you typically will take a pair of shear uh, a pair of snips and snip off the hind toe um, it's relatively painless when they're a duckling, when they're a small duckling, same as it goes for pinioning. Um, so after we sex the birds uh, and restrict flight if necessary, um, and again these are temporary methods of restricting flight, um, we will um, band the bird. Uh, you can use uh, butt end leg bands. Um, you can use, uh, there's spiral bands that are made out of plastic. You can use these uh, leg bands or these uh, cable ties. Uh, we tend to use a different color every year. Um, and the, the scheme usually is uh, for, for most people, uh, left is for female and right is for male, which corresponds with the ovaries and the, and the testes on, on, the, on the waterfall, on the birds rather. Um, we, I've always done it opposite because uh, when I was growing up, the, the same was females are always right. So um, we banned females on the right um, here. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll take these uh, cable ties, which are um, very nice because uh, they're quick, and we'll snug them up. We don't want it too snug, but we don't want it too loose. Um, and then we'll cut this off. Nice and close. Uh, one of the pro potential problems is uh, occasionally 
not not often but occasionally these things will actually tighten up on the leg um, and it'll cut circulation off if you're attentive and you uh, watch your ducks closely every day you'll see when they start to limp uh, same thing goes with some of the spiral bands and stuff They're, they'll tend to once in a while the spirals will dig into the legs and, and cause a limp on the bird and as long as you cut it off before you know you have complete circulation loss on the leg um, there's usually no long-term issues with it um, I am I don't have any of my breeder birds are, are leg banded um, I prefer I mean if I, if I get a bird with a, a leg band on it like this even as soon as I get them I'll clip the leg band so I would recommend anybody that gets birds in like this uh, to clip the leg bands again it's just for my purpose for, for young birds as far as at the farm here um, also in regards to seamless bands butt end bands all that stuff um, I, I personally don't like it. I'm trying to find a, a small stick here like this. Um, what will happen with seamless bands and butt end leg bands uh, is if you have a stick in the ground or something or you know a, a, they, they can actually get caught up underneath underneath in between the leg band and the leg. Let me see if I can um, force this thing up here like that. And the bird will struggle and it will actually snap its leg. So I prefer not to use that, that method, uh, you know, banding, banding birds. I don't, I don't like it. Um, so, uh, with that said, um, an option is, uh, these are wing bands. Um, and there's actually three different types. One's a riveting type, one's a, it's got a little uh, tab on it. This one's got a tab on it. And this one in the middle here is just got a little, uh, um, a little end that, you, that folds over neatly and tucks into a, a slot. Um, so these are kind of nice. Um, two of these styles come with, you buy pliers for them. This is a little, little pair of riveting pliers. Um, I've actually got the riveting style here. Um, we got numbers on one side. You can get, uh, these are actually custom bands. Numbers and on the other side we have uh, this is uh, it says avian empire on them um, So what you do with these is you'll spread the bird's wing and you can feel this this joint here um, You could feel the edge of the wing here. That's got a tendon in it You don't want to puncture that or tear the, the tendon, but you're going to take this band You can see how that's sharp there. That's actually made for puncturing through the, the this really soft tissue. It's uh, very e soft flesh, it's very easy to poke through. You just poke through it, through one side, out through the other, and then you're gonna fold this over, and it's gonna take me a second here because I gotta line up this rivet. The rivet's lined up. And then we're gonna take these pliers and this end with the little um, nub on it. We're gonna line it up with the rivet. We're just gonna gently squeeze it to flatten it out. And then we got a nice rivet uh, on, on the band. Um, these things are relatively permanent. You don't have to worry about them uh, getting caught up in anything. It doesn't uh, restrict the flight or anything. It's uh, relatively, I mean, it's a, it's a little prick to go through the um, wing. So there's a little bit of pain involved, but uh, not a significant amount. It's like an ear piercing on the wing. And that's it for today.